to that. But yeah, so the first one on the list, as you can see on screen here, we're going to the band Imminence. A band that I've been fell in love with from year, the very first time I reacted to them. About like a two year, two, three years ago or so. And then ever since I heard of them, you know, I fell in love with them. I fell in love with them. You know, they have that unique style, that unique tone that I wasn't expecting from a Swedish band. I believe it's Swedish, yeah. But I've... Like I said, I, when I first heard them, I didn't know they, that they have that deep tone, that deep raw tone, that in, the intensity that these guys have. But like I said, you know, they they're do what they do best. Like I said, with the man on the cleans, he does his best with the sings, the violin, as a whole classical element that I'd never heard before. You know, you know, metal, metal and stuff like that when it comes to hardcore music, rather. But, um, is there just the mic here? But um, yeah, I'm finally getting around to it since I've been holding off on these ones, but I'm eager to get back to it. I'm eager to get back to it, so I'm happy to see what this new album has to bring. A lot of people have been recommending this album. A lot of people have been wanting me to react to it, but I've been holding off on all the videos because I wanted to try something new. I wanted to try this, you know, live stream thing. I wanted to do the whole album. Since it's better for me, I think, to go through a whole album, you know, back to back, just to fully grasp, you know, the feel of all the tracks. You know, all the whole, the all emotion of the song, all the songs and stuff like that. It makes you feel like, think, just going through it instead of going through each song individually in individual videos. I am going to still do that, but I'm going to chop it up in the sections from this, this um, stream here. But um, I just feel like I wanted to do something new with all these new albums and just, just get my, you know, live impressions, live thoughts so I can like react to new albums when they come out with you guys. And um, yeah, just react to maybe do some live stuff as well, you know, when singles come out, you know, and other maybe some news and stuff like that. Maybe give me some ideas, give me some ideas. But yeah, like I'm sure people are going to come and go throughout the stream. So if you guys can uh, let me know what you guys think and say, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. So yeah, but the first one we got here, Imminence. Like I said off the record, I believe there's 12 tracks, which is pretty standard for a new, like an album album length. I would say a lot of bands are going like the more shorter route. I believe you know with like 10 or so tracks, but this one's like a full flank. I think of a good solid 12 tracks. I believe it's the perfect amount of albums you know, of, of tracks to have on an album because you know, you know 10. I feel like you know it's good. It's a good solid length. You know roughly like hour good concert length show that if you can stretch it out a little bit you know a little bit before that i believe it's you know it's a little bit too less for an album i believe more like an ep type of thing but i think 12 is good and anything past 12 i believe you can do it i've seen bands to like 15 or so on but i believe that's a little bit too much for an album you know maybe save some tracks for like the second album or like a you no know, deluxe version you know that some bands do but yeah first track off the album happy to see it let's get it let's see if i am on the uh, right one yeah all right we're on the front one here you know, like i said i have heard some of these ones before and um some of my reactions previously from this band so I, I have heard some of the ones on this track already but um i'm still gonna go through them you know i just kind of forgot them so i'm still gonna go go through them again especially for the ones that and people haven't seen yet on this John on the channel if they come in and see what's going on but um yeah I'm just going through the whole album and now uh, I give my thoughts impressions on each song and then at the end I'm gonna do a whole live this is my very first like full album from these guys I haven't heard any of their previous ones I haven't you know compared I can't really compare the two from like other bands I could probably do later on the list um, in the next couple of days or so, but yeah, this is my very first album from the Imminence, and I do love them. I do love them. Hopefully, I get to see them live one day when they come around. But um, but yeah, it's my very first impression. So let's get into it. Come hell or high water. So let's get it. I heard this one yet? I don't know, but um, there's some mustard going in our heads, whisper words of death. Guess we'll find out. On fire. Don't tell me all the wicked things you said. So you burn. I don't know if I heard this one yet. That'd be a new one. So I want to drop out beat here. Hmm. Oh, 
我就要搞点球。Like I said, man, his voice is amazing when he starts singing. Yo, boys, Ooh, we got chills on this one. Gentlemen, hell or high water. The first track off the black record from Eminence. Wow. Okay. Okay. A little bit chill for my taste at the beginning there, but the end there. Now, oh my God, I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were gonna like play it out a little bit. Wasn't expecting, you know, the the intensity that just happened with the blast beats. Oh man, they love to surprise you. Let me just say, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Yes, yeah, bringing. Thought they were gonna chill, check. Chill it out there at the end there, but no, they wanna they wanna amp you up. They wanna amp you up for the album. I like it. I like it. Not typically my first choice when it comes to like you know, no, first um first track off an album. You know, I like to when I think of albums, I like to you know amp the crowd up a little bit. I like to amp the audience up. You know, just start off full force with a hard hitting track off the first one. You know, it just gets the crowd going. Just gets the mood. You know, set the tone for the record usually for the first track of the album. But you know, you know, it's not too, like I said, it's not typically my first choice. But you know, it's good. It's good. You know, it sets. I feel like this is a more emotional album. This is a more like, um, you know, dark and gritty um, tone that the, um, these guys are trying to go for. So I feel like that they thought they went, they leaned on that a little bit for the first track. But you know, it's still. I like that. I like the ending there. I like that it brings the intensity. Like I know these guys could do, and it just sounds so good. It sounds so good, and I'm all in for it. We already got some. Hell of a tracks coming your way. I do remember some of them. So we got more blast beats, more deep tones, and so yeah, let's get it. This is the second track of the one. I know, I know they're doing a whole, you know, overarching story with the with this album. I don't know it, <laughs> believe me. Throughout the whole thing, I'm probably watching it, and I probably still won't know it after watching it the whole the way through. But you know, I like when bands tell stories, you know, and makes it feel like they care about the music. They want to, you know. Push something and tell a story that you know you can't really normally do, um, 
you know in a different way so i like when music tries to do that they portray a story portray emotions and like this brings the more theatrics you know to the songs and like especially on the live shows you know when bands like to act out and stuff you know like my man spencer over at ice nine kills he just the whole show is a theatrical scene let me just say but um you know it's cool it's cool like when bands get into the character get into like the music get into like the overall theme that um they're trying to go for but um but yeah like i said i haven't heard these guys live hopefully they they can hold their weight live in the live shows and we'll get to see them then now what if he does his violin he has to do his violins live like i couldn't imagine he does it but just does it on the um the tracks the audio tracks but um hopefully he does that hopefully he does that so maybe we have to write um see some live videos on these guys in the near future